lovely day in the neighborhood. Praise the Lord. And it's time that we realize that we have protection foretold for us from the Lord. No weapon formed against us will prosper as a race. Though it look bad and like there's a lack of hope, yet is there abundant manifesting hope in these days of the end. This is the new Jerusalem. Just uh, Google NASA New Jerusalem. That is photos from the Hubble telescope. That is the city of celestial uh, glory coming onto this earth. And the mystery of God is now over. Revelation 10.7 in the latter days, when the fullness of the time of the Gentile came forth, Paul wrote that all Israel would be saved during that time, and the seven trumpet would uh, blow, and the mystery of God would be over. Well, that new Jerusalem is part of that mystery, but only part. How deeply do you want to know? <laughs> so accursed are all those who ignorantly condemn the upright uh, faith of love. And woe unto all those calling good evil and evil good, uh, pointing at this channel and calling it evil. Uh, they're in effect jumping up and down, declaring our Prince of Peace would never send kingdom made peace, you know? <coughs> so understand this well. O oh, true bride of Christ, our living, as he sends his living word afresh, just as Daniel 12, 9 foretold, for it was only closed until the time of the end, so that mankind can jointly all come to see that there is no uh, ignorance uh, but darkness alone, and no darkness but ignorance alone. God's people have always been destroyed by lack of knowledge, Hosea 4, 5. So it's time that the Latter-day uh, Church of Jesus Christ, people of love from out of absolutely all religions, for he is the Lord God of all mankind, not of uh, this group or that group, all. And uh, all across the face of this earth and across its seas, and uh, he's the Lord of God of, of those across the oceans as well, all of those as soil and rocks cover all the lands in between where all of his people walk and all are his people who have their love light on. For those who love are born of God and know God because God is love, First John 4, 7. And just as the weeds and grass have all, always grown together, so too does many bad rocks exist in good soil. It's therefore a sure thing that according to the Holy Spirit, uh, that the Lamb of God, our roaring Lion of Zion, friend to the sinners, shall not return until the great falling away happens right now from those who are apostate that believe not God's word of prophecy, the revelation of his unconditional love. Uh, for it's written, let no one deceive you by any means, for the second coming of the Lord will not come forth unless there comes a falling away first, said the Apostle Paul. The falling away is ordered of God. It is not the uh, apostate, the bad leaving the good. It's the good leaving the bad. If you don't remove the... Uh, the good fruit out from the bowl, the bad fruit in the bowl, who do not believe God's word of prophecy, they will make the good fruit go bad too. So it must be removed. And as uh, recent history already attests to, this prophecy has already uh, experienced enough fulfillment that Christ could very well return at any forthcoming moment of any moment's briefest fleeting moment. He could come back any time, but I'm telling you, the restoration has to become co common knowledge. Um, the people of the world must beat our swords into the 
sickle of love. So listen, O ye people of the Lord, unto the Spirit, as the wind of God now blows the best good tidings unto all those who shall never depart from the faith above all others, which is love unconditional, the unity of man and God together unified by love. So hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. Twofold is the double-edged sword that divides asunder spirit-led people and demonic followers from corrupted houses of worship that will not recognize truth's foretold way. God's word is coming forth in these days to tear down all the kingdoms of man, all the imaginations of all not built solely upon his unconditional love as it is now revealed through his everlasting covenant written correctly to Israel and all mankind. And for that reason, Israel has inherited all mankind. Isaiah 54 proclaims this. And uh, there are two different outcomes, totally different, shall unexpectedly spring forth in the midst of the manifestation of the great departure from uh, tainted sanctuaries from across the lands. The great falling away was foretold by Moses, Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. He said that another like him would come forth and otherwise only death would wait. He was talking physical death, not uh, spiritual death. And what he was saying was the end time Elijah, that all not following me, only total uh, death oblivion would uh, await. Zechariah, uh, Zephaniah 1.1, 1, 1, no fish, no birds left on planet earth, no people at all whatsoever. Isaiah 24, this earth uh, torn into three, four pieces, dead earth never to rise again. And so he was uh, foretelling one like him, a uh, kingdom age covenant giver, and the one calling for a new exodus uh, for the harvest, for all the people that are wheat who believe the prophecy of God to leave those who will not. And many souls shall be tricked by doctrines of hell, the one stain uh, in uh, religion that is now all obsolete, as Hebrews 8 foretold. Because when the Kingdom Age covenant came, that is what would happen in Hebrews 8. Uh, he told, uh, he even rewrote the words of the covenant. Because God is saying to one and all of us, and this transcends all religion, uh, he says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive all your iniquity. I will never remember it. I'll write my law and my love on uh, your heart. And beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught about me anymore, says the Lord God. For the least to the greatest shall all know me. That includes the atheists, because those who love are born of God and know God because God is love, regardless of what they want to define or uh, their atheists are like uh, fish that don't want to believe that they're in water, and it's called water in H2O, but all they know is it's wet, and they don't want to believe the other, other truth. So they have a definition problem, as well as has all the world, because born again was never to believe, it was to love again. Those who love are born of God and know God. To be born again, you must be born again of love, flame back on, because all people have been like little children, um, uh, letting their love flow. And all of us have known God, every single one. All, all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Every single one of us has known him. So what we have here is a failure to communicate, but we must listen to the sound of the seven trumpet which has blown first, because in the kingdom of God, the first is last and the last is first. Many souls of the proud, the arrogant, and the haughty religiosity out there. These are the days of uh, a shattering of the power of the holy people because the proud, the arrogant have no root, root or branch left to hold on to. Uh, they are foundationalists in the uh, face of my message being correct. Many souls have been deceived by their own selves and if they let their love die, they would be perish the unforgivable sin of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. But it's, it's, it's understandable why a kid would be afraid of the darkness. And that's pretty easy to forgive. But it's hard to, for me to forgive a bunch of adults who are afraid of the light. 
That's what's going on at this channel. That's why the, so few uh, subscribers are are uh, coming as quickly as I'd like to see. But praise God, it is written in Isaiah 41 that as the messenger of Malachi 3, 1, I am the messenger to Israel because I've been giving this covenant to Israel for six months and they haven't said a mumbling word. But all the world will come to realize as Isaiah 41 says that uh, I am right about everything I've been saying and that this was foretold since the beginning. Genesis 49, I am the one from Habakkuk 2, transgressed by wine, but the just shall live by my faith, even though I, my soul has not been upright, because I shall be and already am as hell, and I shall never be satisfied as I embrace all people of the earth unto myself for our risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man, Esau, Yeshua, Jesus, who they will now come unto, because I have removed the writing that mankind put in between the kingdom age covenant out of place. 2,000 years ago, early Christians said, we are Israel and all mankind, and they weren't. And then 2,000 years ago, they said, and uh, uh, the prophecy is fulfilled now, and it wasn't. It was always for the latter days. Jeremiah 30, 24, from the valid messenger of the covenant. And now that it has been given openly, all people of God, every single one of us may now inherit the everlasting co covenant that he will evermore sing peace and uh, blessing over you as long as you keep your son uh, of love arising in your heart and do not commit blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So it's time to, f to no more flee away from light. Darkness is the only real ignorance in this world. Flee the darkness. Um, and it's, it's time to uh, go back uh, not it's time not to go back and start lurking in uh, the darkness of hellish understandings once again once your minds have been enlightened to God's truth of his everlasting covenant having been over all people this means people that he has not lost one from his hand as scripture says and this means every loving uh, worshiper of Ra every loving worshiper of Hercules and Zeus and Jupiter, every loving Aztec person that kept their love light on to the end, that committed not blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, they are in paradise with our beloved. There's never been nothing that we have to do to inherit the gift of God's love because we are his children. We are angels in the flesh. And that's why in the afterlife we shall be as the angels. Saxless, the Bible says, neither male nor female. Why? Because that's exactly what we have been. And the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former and the last are first. We were created last because we are first. That's why Satan hated us, despised us before his kingdom age removal. That has happened because God is proclaiming, I will forgive your iniquity people. I will never remember it. That had to force God's hand to get fire Satan right then because Satan day and night had always been day and night before the Lord accusing us he would have made God into a liar who did remember our sin and that eliminates uh, the the judgment of God as it has been perceived there shall be a judgment of rewards so all those that are heading towards everlasting shame are those letting their light go out but additionally uh, uh, There'll be multitude of children of light that will need to recede from an ocean of apostate churches. This is the great.